and let's dig in a little bit into Mike Johnson. We haven't had really uh, an opportunity to do this as there has been more um, uh, information of Mike Johnson coming out. Um, it is odd. I mean, he, he feels like an AI creation. I've said that from the start. Even the way he speaks, he's so nondescript. Um, but he clearly checked a ton of boxes of like being a complete right winger and also a theocrat that was on inoff inoffensive to others what you're talking about that ai is sort of the evangelical um that is that is the their algorithm that's the algorithm and um he has you know and the, and, and a reminder i did not make this up this concept of lying for the lord this is um he has no problem denying certain realities which he knows don't um uh don't resonate with the vast majority of the american public they are on a project for minoritarian rule they realize this they have no problem with it they have no problem with it. you can start to see writings now uh from uh the evangelical right saying what they need is a, a caesar of their own in the form of donald trump the idea that Mike Johnson is aware that the majority of Americans don't want uh, to have an abortion ban, he doesn't care about that as a matter of governance. He, he understands it as a matter of politics. So he's out there denying that he ever uh, supported one. Let's play this clip of, of Mike Johnson. Uh, this is clip number... Um, Seven. Seven A. Okay, the first seven. Talking about abortion here on uh, Fox with Shannon Bream. Uh, I want to talk about some social issues. You've got a lot of critics who say that you are wildly out of step with the American people. Let's talk abortion first. One of the groups opposing you says this. He wants a total abortion ban with no exceptions. He supported bans that would not only criminalize abortion, but ban IVF treatments and common forms of birth control and that you voted against access to contraception. Where are you on these issues? Is that an accurate assessment of where you are? Because that's not in step with the American people. No, Shannon, look, I'm, I'm pro-life. I've, I've said very clearly, I'm a Bible-believing Christian. I believe in the sanctity of every single human life. So I come to Congress with deep, personally held convictions. But guess what? So do my 434 other colleagues in the House. Everyone comes to Congress with their deeply held convictions. But the process here is that you make law by consensus. And I'm not brought forward any measure uh, to, to address any of those issues. Right now, our priorities are funding the government, handling these, these massive national security uh, priorities that we have in, in crises around the globe and, and taking care of changing and reforming how Congress works. That's what we're going to do. Listen, I, prior to uh, the modern time, I mean, until recently, actually, almost all of our nation's leaders openly acknowledged that they were also Bible-believing Christians. So, I mean, this is what? not a, 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 something that should cause great unrest, okay? It's just that Washington right now, what you're seeing, Washington and the Associated Press Corps are engaging with a leader who opened acknowledges faith and 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 the the foundational principles of our, our country okay, but i think this is a healthy discussion but it, it doesn't affect how we run congress to be clear though have you voted against fertility treatments and access to contraception would you i don't i don't think so i'm not sure what they're talking hmm. about I, I really don't remember any but, of those but matters, do you oppose anything i am personally like, yeah, for life yeah no, no, of course not. I, no, that that's uh, something that's blessed a lot of families who have, have uh, problems right, with fertility. Right, okay, Let's, I, I just, he's lying. He's lying. I mean, he is personally pro-life, and personally pro-life for him means um, uh, no birth control, no uh, contraceptives, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I mean, Johnson has co-sponsored at least three bills hoping to ban abortion at the nationwide level, including the Pain-Capable Unborn Child Protection Act, the Protecting Pain-Capable Unborn Children from Late-Term Abortions Act, and the Harpy Protection Act of 2021, all of which carry criminal penalties of up to five years in prison for physicians who perform abortions. In July of 2022, Mike Johnson voted against the Right to Contraception Act, H.R. 8373, it would create a legal right to obtain and use all FDA administration approved forms of contraception. 
Now, to be fair, that was 15 months ago, uh, and I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. But that's how he voted against it. I mean, he's such an anti-abortion, uh, it, it, you know, uh, ideologue, essentially, that in 2015, he blamed abortion on school shootings. The quote is, many women use abortion as a form of birth control, you know, in certain segments of society. And it's just shocking and sad, but this is where we are. When you break up the nuclear family, when you tell a generation of people that life has no value, no meaning, that it's expendable, then you do wind up with school shooters. So... Um, this is like the level that we're operating at with this man. This and one, the, and, and also to be clear, this isn't, he's, you know, he's not just anti-abortion. People should understand that. Yep. With, with um, I, I'm sure there are some people who are just anti-abortion. Um, but he is against the ability of women in particular maybe as a second order uh, men too, to uh, determine whether or not they're going to not only carry a pregnancy to term, he's for first uh, forced births without a doubt. He's also for forced conception in the sense that he is voting against birth control. He's voting against birth control. They want to control the sexuality of of women and as a second order men, not so much. No, I'm pretty men can sure. Be trusted. I'm pretty sure that the condoms uh, are not going to be the ones that they come for first. We but always men know that can they be go. Trusted. We all know what happened in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. It was it was Eve who ate the apple, not uh, Adam. I mean, yes. Uh, but this is where this is where he's at. 